Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Empress Energy, and I'm here to do a love reading for my inner signs. Yes, my Libra, Geminis, and Aquarius. How you guys doing, my gods and goddesses? Welcome, 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 welcome back. I would appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos for when I post. If you're like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out. Uh, what I'm seeing? My earring. Okay. Um, if you guys would like the face masks and the face gloves, organic products made by me, the, old, the information will be in the description box below as well. And um, if you guys would like to follow my daughter, Artisha Noel, the information will be down there too. She do like mukbangs and um, mukbangs and like story times and stuff like that. All right, check her out. All right, well, let's get into the reading. How you guys doing once again? Okay. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own. So I can give my God some goddesses, my air signs, the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Now let's see what's on and popping. <laughs> With my air signs. Give me some past, present, future outcome and advice for them. So. Okay, so I'm just going to do past, present future and your advice okay all right let's get into this overall energy here okay so my air signs you guys are you are, are in the space of feeling done it's like you guys got a lot on your shoulders okay so sit up tall because you guys are you know, great. You guys are warriors. Sit up tall. You're not defeated. It's not over. And you're in a space of knowing that. You're in a space of, you know, with the Eight of Swords here, you're like breaking through this uh, mental um, hell that you've been in. Okay? You're like, you know, you're ready to get the fruits of your labor. You're ready to, you know, be the eye of the tiger. You're ready to burst out. You you feel like that you did all you could do in a situation. You're like tired of um, thinking about this past situation that, you know, got you stuck. You like stuck being an illusion about this emotional, you like make yourself emotional and you just can't shake it. Okay. It can be some type of addiction or something as well with this five of cup here. It's like you, you want change, but you too um, busy stuck on this path. You can't let go of this past thing. And you know that you in a space of wanting to these are the things that's going on in your head. And it's like you wanting to manifest a new beginning of moving forward, of being with somebody that really know you and that you really connect with, somebody that you know that you possibly can marry. You want, you're trying to manifest that. You want to manifest that, but you keep on reminiscing about this, this past thing, making it okay. Keep saying that it's a, it's a little bit that can be salvaged in it. OK, and, and and going back and forth with yourself because you want long term, you want stability, you want all of this and the, and the king of wands, you want it all. And the king, the queen of wands, the king of pentacles, it's just you want it all. But. Who is like sex can keep you in a situation. You just feel like that y'all just compatible. You feel like you like, uh, what is that word? I'm seeing like you, 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 you want to keep letting this, this go in a circle. You ain't ready to really let it go. The sex can have you 
delusional. Because you like, I think it's a little bit more that can be done. But you like sad in the, in the same breath. You really ready to move. You ready to go after like some type of entrepreneurship. You ready to, you know, get this big fortune that, you know, God saw a spirit got for you. But you being naive to a fact and waiting around for somebody. You got to stand up in your power as the empress, knowing who you are, okay? Knowing that you're abundant alone, knowing that you know how to make good choices, knowing that you are beautiful, knowing that, you know, you, you count on God's or spirit, that you are grounded and you are fruitful alone, okay? And then, you know, your perfect person going to come along. Okay, let's move forward. This past energy, you have the two of pentacles and the two of wands. So with the past energy, you got two, two here. And it's like you need to make a decision. Air signs, you need to make a decision. Two of pentacles, two of wands, juggling a decision, a choice, not really being decisive on what path you want to take. So this is this is why you constantly hear in this past energy. But let's get a little deeper with it. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. Spirit is telling me to light some sage. Gotta listen. Thank you, Spirit. Class the card here. And there's two. Ooh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Give me some information here. I'm hearing something about a root chakra. Wow. A root, okay. Just take that. Wow, Spirit got a lot to say about this and you making a decision about this person who you look two to again. That go two, that go two. You really need to make a decision. You're going to go towards the right way. Two, two, two mean you know you on the right path, moving towards the right direction, moving towards the true happiness. You need to make a decision about this person who you feel like is your soulmate, but... But it's also, like, too much to deal with. But also too much to deal with. You, you know, feel like that you can run to work or you, you know, want to focus on your money more so that you don't have to deal with this situation, but it's still too much on you that you're carrying and you constantly, you're not sleeping well because you're constantly thinking about this situation and it's always on your mind. You could be catching headaches or, you know, um, being feeling de dehydrated, you know, depressed and, you know, anxiety written dealing with this situation because you know it's time for you to make a decision. But don't be a, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because you know what? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You know? You got this. You guys have, you know, have been making good choices this far. You 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 piled up a lot on yourself and it's like too much for you to deal with. You see how I put them cards down because I want to be done. That's how you guys are feeling. Like y'all want to be done with a situation, but you got to trust God to a spirit with the food card here. You got to trust God to a spirit and take the leap of faith. Do something, drink, something that you never done before. It's time for you to step up out of the, the comfort zone of your own self, of your own mis misery. And it's time for you to be victorious in your quest. Okay, it's time to take action. And look at the last one. Major Iconic card, Libra, Air Sign. 
Okay, it's time for you to take your thoughts back under control, get them back under control. And it's time for you to stand up. It's time for you to get balance restored back in your life. It's time for you to cut out people, places, and things that no longer serves you. And it's time for you to, you know what I'm saying, get the, get on top of that darkness, listening more than to your intuition, listening more than to God so that you can be directed in the right, right path. And it's like this sex is, is really sticking out at me to where you, you getting control over the sex. Because it's like sex is, was a, a big, um, a big, a big deal. In your decision making as well. But once you get. You know things in order. And back balance. You know sex won't be a problem. Okay let's move forward. Past present. Present energy. You have the three of pentacles. The nine of wands and the emperor. The present energy. Okay. So. With this present energy, you got somebody that's coming in that wants to, you know, uh, they want to work it out, okay? Your person coming in wanting to work it out, and you like, no, no. It's like you're guarding yourself, you're blocking yourself because you want something and somebody that you can rely on, somebody that you can depend on, someone that you can trust, someone that know how to make good decisions, someone who, you know, is all around honorable. And your person that you're dealing with, you feel like that they are not, they, they are the opposite of this emperor. So you're like really guarding your energy, guarding yourself at this time. But let's go deeper. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. Give me some more information with the present energy. Okay, so right now, right now, you got the five of cups and the five of wands. This past energy that, you know, that you keep, you like, no, I don't want to keep working it out, you know, because this, every time you deal with this past energy, you're in a space of, you know, it's a lot of arguing and fighting and bickering. It's a lot of nothing that's not being, that's not, that's being done here. Okay. You have like, you don't trust this person and these people. It's more than one. Okay. That you're dealing with. And it's always going to end up in a stuck and stagnant energy. You're like, no, I don't want to keep on reliving, reliving it. I don't want to keep on arguing and fighting with you. I don't want to be in competition over you. I don't want to be in this stuck and stagnant energy to where we're not growing and leveling up. I need my emperor. So you need to get your shit together because I'm not having it. With the judgment card here. You're like, I'm serious. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being at this crossroads, not really knowing what I want to do dealing with you. This is too hard. And it's like you're ready to do the hard work that it takes with the Eight of Pentacles to get you where it is that you need to be. And with the Page of Wands here, you're just, you know, really trying to work on your self-esteem here because you know like you did all you could do in the situation once again. Eight of Swords. you like... I can't keep on, you know, giving myself a pity party. I can't keep on feeling stuck. I can't keep feeling trapped within my own thoughts. I'm tired of this energy. So you like guarding yourself to, from this person and these people. And it's like you um, get back into a, a situation where you're trying to be patient with yourself but this is like real heavy you see how i'm like slumping because this situation is a lot i got a lot of um coconut oil on okay um just shedding like new money 
Okay. <laughs> but, you know, it's like you get into a space to where you just get back. Like, you, you want to... Oh. This is y'all energy, air signs. Y'all got a lot going on. Take deep breaths throughout your day. Pray a lot. Listen to your intuition. Because you one minute want to leave and block this person. The next minute you still feel like it's a little bit that can be savage. I can be patient. We can work it out. And it's totally not what you really want. Verify this temperance. Why do they do that? Why are they psyching themselves out? So you have the page of pentacles in reverse and the tower. Give me one more. You feel like that. You kind of feel like this This is your, you, oh, you comfortable here. You comfortable here. You don't want nobody else. You scared. You fearful. You're fearful. You're fearful to move, fearful to move forward. So you continue to allow yourself to be in this broken situation with the tower. And you psyching yourself out and make it feel like your comfort zone. You know, like we can be happy. We can be at peace with the four walls. Even though everything has burned down, we can still be happy. You make yourself feel that because you're afraid of, you're afraid of, um, you're afraid of moving on. You're afraid of the newness. You're afraid of the unknown. Thank you, spirit. You're afraid of the unknown. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. So you're afraid of the unknown. Yeah. So you allow yourself to be in the space of, this is okay. It ain't that bad. But overall, you just want to get out. You don't really want it. You're just afraid of the unknown. But I'm here to tell you today. Empress Energy is here to tell you today that you can do it. That you are brave. That you are fearless. That you are strong. Okay? Say this with me. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fearless. I am powerful. I am amazing. I am an empress. I am loving. I am kind. I am resilient. I am ambitious. I know how to make good choices. Tell yourself that today and continue to say it to you to yourself while you brushing your teeth and washing your face so that you can build yourself up and know that you don't deserve this and that you can't do it. That you can't do it. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve a situation that you are carrying so much and you are stressed out in. It's time for victory and it's time for justice. These are major arcana card spirit is saying, please trust me. Jump out there on faith. And I got you. Believe that, know that. Okay? Let's move forward. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. Past, present, future, future energy. You have the five of swords and the fool card. So this um future energy. It's like the five of swords. The five of swords. This is a, you know, a de deceitful energy that with the fool card. It's time for you to, you know, you don't want to be this person or this energy fool any longer because this person is all about themselves. They can be, you know, self-centered. They can be, you know, don't really care about your feelings. It's not a emotional there, you know, very kind of cold. This person can be saying um, nasty words out of their mouth. It's just a cold place. And it's like, you need to turn your back on this person because they got, you know, things that they're hiding, you know, and being very sneaky and conniving about. It's all about them. God's so spirit is saying it's time for you to take a leap of faith again. Trust me, both cards. You seen that darkness? 
What was that? Oh, man, that was pretty scary. But we're going to move forward a little bit. Trust God, y'all. Trust God, y'all. I know I just saw it go dark. I never saw that before. But Spirit is just saying, they, they trying to really get this message to you right there. That's why I shocked the mess out of me. I don't know if y'all seen the lightning go like that, but that was just something different. Okay? Let's just, um, Spirit is saying, we're going to leave that there. We don't have to verify it. The Spirit is saying it. Let it go. Take a leap of faith. Do the Get out of your comfort zone. Get the balance restored. Okay? You will be victorious. So your advice here, you have the Knight of Cups and the Chariot. Whew, it's time to be single. It's time to mingle. It's time to move around. Okay? It's time to take your time. And it's time to, to make that decision to go. Be single and mingle. You might feel like that you lost the battle, but in, but in the end, you're going to win the war. This person ain't going to let you like, like just leave them, you know, just, just leave them easily. Look at that, the Knight of Pentacles. They coming in. They coming in to tell you, I want you to be mad. You mad. I'm, I'm, I'm no good without you. But when they had you, they stayed, then treat you accordingly. So you had to show up and get clear on the situation and with them and show them who you is. And now they want to come, come towards you with the, the Knight of Cups again and try to say that's level this up. But I think it's a bit too late because you're ready to bounce. You're ready to bounce. Because you feel you starting to realize that, you know, I need to make sense out of what's going on. This is you digging deep within your spirituality. This is you, you know, um, connecting with you and understanding that this whole situation, exactly what it is. Okay? So you will be holding back from this person. Because you're ready to be happy and content with the Nine of Pentacles. You're ready to travel. You're ready to enjoy yourself. You're ready to be free. Yeah. You're ready to, to, to manifest what it is that you want. You're ready to go after, you know, something fresh and new. You like turning your back on this night. This night of ones. You like turning your back on them because it's like... Go on elsewhere. Fly somewhere else because you always coming in acting like you're so passionate with me. And you, you don't never be there for me. You learning to stand up in your empress energy. Okay? And you're learning the lesson of why you, you know, you seeing the situation clearly now. So you standing in your power as the empress, man, female and males, um, no gender base. And you're like, it's time for me to get what it is that I deserve. You're you're understanding your worth now and you're understanding why you're holding on to these situations that no longer serves you. You're learning how you're making excuses for these situations because it's all about you. You know what I'm saying? You're being you you are, you know, allowing fear in and you're ready to push past it. Okay, it says, I see you. You ready to stand up, you know? You ready to speak your mind. You ready to, you know, get the mental clarity and act accordingly. You like, uh-uh, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't me. Well, hey, now you're growing, getting in your power. Okay, okay, I'm going to give you your oracle card. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. All right, life experience and the page of earth. Life experience, Arch, I mean, Archangel Shemuel. And it's 16, that's the number seven. So it's, it's life experience number seven, G for God. You know, Archangel Shemuel. 
a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Oh, listen more to your intuition. Pray, pray, pray. Listen to that, that voice, that gut feeling and move accordingly. This is not happening to you. This is happening for you, like I always say. And this is happening for you because God's so spirit is like, it's time to tap in. It's time to tap in and tune on. You know what I'm saying? So listen to like, um, you know, steal your mind. Get you some meditation time and listen to your thoughts, okay? So that you can ultimately grow yourself, your, your courage and your faith up so that you can make this decision to move forward, okay? Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study, okay? So, you you know, um, in the time of the stillness, you know, I did see the hangman here. You know, you 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 feel like that you stuck somewhere. Learn, 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 learn. You know what I'm saying? And you got abundance that's coming your way. I'm going to give you your moonology. You got abundance that's coming your way. Okay, the answers you need are coming. A new romantic cycle. It's time to release negativity. And this is, you know, listening to your intuition, transformation time, letting go of that negativity, all of that, you know, the way that you the way you have been moving, the way that you have been accepting things. It's time for you to let that negativity go, getting in tune with your emotions, saying, no, I don't like when somebody treat me this way. I don't like when things happen like this. Taking control over you and knowing that, you know, um, a change is coming. All right? Um, and, and feeling your emotions and moving more towards that. You know, and it'll put you in a good space to where you won't allow yourself to be around things that hurt you. Okay? A new romantic cycle. And this is like around your birthday, you know, around your birthday. So be patient. And like I was saying, I've been wanting to say in the stillness because it's like you, you can, once you close one door, another door will open, but you still have to heal. Okay. So around your birthday, you will be in a space to where you have the mental clarity that you um, ultimately deserve you in a space of, you know, leveling up on this new level. Things feel a bit different. You know, getting your feet wet. You'll be in a space where you, you're ready. Okay? So don't rush anything. Take your time. The answers that you need is coming. And, you know, work on this, this new phase that, you know, you have coming. So learn, learn, learn all that you can in the stillness. You know, when it feel like that you're not doing anything or not like you're not leveling up, God, Soul, Spirit wants you to, you know, learn things in that time so that you can be prepared for the new level. Okay? And I'm going to give you um, your love oracle to sum this up. Once again, take deep breaths throughout your days to restart your thoughts and to, you know, uh, refresh your energy. Because you do, you are dealing with a lot. You know, it's leveling up time. So everything do feel like piled up on you. You know, I'm stretch as well. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like you stretching to like pop your bones and put some air through those. You know, release the air in the, the bone area so that you can feel more youthful and energized. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of hop of holiday time together. See, around your birthday, that's, you know, um, Libra time. Um, it's September, beginning of September. No, the end of September and the beginning of October. Okay? See, it's gonna, you know, the holiday coming along. Well, what is the holiday? I think um, Halloween or something. Um, what else? Thanksgiving, Christmas, you will have a partner by then. 
Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And once again, we're letting go of the negativity. We're releasing anything that no longer serves us. That's the way we think, the way we be, the way we, uh, you know, do the people. We're releasing it all so we can make room for the positive things that God's or Spirit is wanting to give you. Okay, Air Signs? Well, good luck with everything. This was your reading. If you guys, if this energy resonates with any of you, let's put what we're going to put in the um, comment section. We're going to put, you know, put something down there, y'all. And, you know, just let me know if this energy resonates with y'all. Well, good luck with everything. I love you guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thanks again for all the likes, comments, shares, and uh, donations, all that good stuff. Keep it coming. And until next time, I love you. Good luck with everything. And take care. Peace out.